Hi guys, so today I'll be uh, showing you a little haul from the last week. Just from about three different shopping trips. And most of it is drugstore. There's only one thing that isn't, and I got that at Ulta, so it's still pretty accessible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with um, lip products. I have the most. Most of my stuff is um, for the lips. Um, the first one is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection um, lipstick, and this one is in Bewitch. Now I. Um, this is one of the first things that I got, so it was from, I think, last Friday. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's pretty dark. Um, I guess it's not too, too dark, but it's definitely like a reddish brown, and it's not a color that I'm really used to. Um, it, I think it's nice, and I, you know, great for fall, but I'm just not sure how I feel about it, um, just on my face. Um, then I'll move into the L'Oreal, I think they're the, what is it, Caress, or no, Color Riche, and I have four of them, I bought two of them a few days ago, and then two of them today. They remind me, the packaging reminds me of YSL a little bit, which I love the YSL packaging, these are the, um, one of the glossy stains, which I also love. Um, so, two of the first ones that I got, um are like the are pinky colors. This one is pink vinyl. It's the one right above the reddish brown. And then ooh, I just messed that up a little bit. The next one is blushing sequin. Which is this one right here. Um, and then these two I got today. First one is Violet Chiffon. Which looks a lot like, um, it looks like pink vinyl with some purple added to it. So that is the Violet Chiffon. And then the last one I got is Silky Java. This is one is one that I've been looking at for a while and wanting to get. I don't know why it's taking me this long. Um, but it's this like really nice nude on the bottom and it looks dark. I know it's weird that I said that was dark but not the, I mean that I said the cover girl one was dark and um, I don't feel like that one's that dark. But it's like a pinkish nude that I really like which reminds me of my favorite YSL lipstick so I kind of need to get over it already but I think I like that one. I haven't tried it on, um, on my lips because I have this one right here and it takes a while to get all that red. It's NARS. Um, Matte Lip Pencil and Dragon Girl, and that stuff stays. It stays a long time. Okay, the next two I have are Revlon Lip Butters. Now this one you can barely see. It's uh, Gumdrop, and it's a purpley color. It's supposed to match the color on the tube, so I figured I'd show you. But it's that right there. It just looks shiny. I put it vertically. Um, and then the next one is one that I swatched as soon as I left um, CVS. And it's not really what I expected, but I like it. Um, I thought it would be more, kind of more plummy, because the name is Sugar Plum. And I like it, but it's more of, um, it's almost more of a nude color. But we'll see how that goes. Okay, so those are all my lip products. I guess we'll go back up the face. Um, today I got this, the Revlon Brow Fantasy Pencil and Gel. I got it in Brunette, because I am a brunette. Um, Really, my holy grail brow products are brow markers. I say brow markers in general because from what I found, they are so similar. It doesn't matter what brand you have. I've used Anastasia, which is um, in the 20s at first price. I've used the NYX, which is about $10. And then Milani, I think it's about like 5 or $6. And they all worked the same for me. Now, while I was at CVS, I was looking for the Milani one, and they didn't have it. Um, the only reason I didn't buy that I looked for is because I was at Ulta and I almost bought the NYX one, but since I knew Milani had one, I didn't buy it, so now I wish I kind of would have gotten the NYX one, but whatever. I wanted to experiment because I've been using the brow markers for so long that I kind of don't remember what else is out there, so I wanted to try this, and I've heard a few things about it saying that it um, it's good. We'll see. I'll tell you about it if it is good. Well, I'll tell you about it if it isn't either. Um, and then I got one of the Color Tattoo by iStudio 24-hour 20, iStudio, eyeshadows 
um, by Maybelline. This is one of the limited edition fall ones. It's rich mahogany, and it was one of the only ones I'm, I was missing. I'm still missing the fuchsia, purple fuchsia, something fuchsia. Um, that's what it looks like on my finger. I've worn it twice since I got it. I think I wore it the first time I got it, uh, or the first day I got it. And it's right there. It's definitely a plummy brown. It is not like a brown through and through. It has an iridescence to it, and it's uh, like a maroonish plum color. I mean, it's really pretty, but it is not. It's not the color that I expected, but I don't have a problem with that actually. Um, next is the big favorite out of the group, and I should have probably saved it for last, but it's too late now. The Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer in Bronze and Chic. I am in love. Like I have nothing but good things to say. Um, I have been using my MAC Sheer Finish Powder, something like that, in NC55, I think, I have it right here, in, yeah, NC55 Select Sheer Pressed Powder, and I've been using it as my contour shade, it's this right here, and I can't remember who talked about this, um, but they mentioned it, and I thought, well, hey, like, whenever I go to repurchase uh, my Mac, maybe I could find something else that works just as well. Now what I like about Revlon is that it's so smooth and that's what I loved about the um, Mac powders because it's so smooth it's meant to be a sheer pressed powder so it just went on so smooth and I didn't have to worry about putting too much on really uh, even though you know the more the better for me. And um, I thought that I would be in like this shade range, like I would be using this one a whole lot, but to be honest, I have been using these two top shades, which are the lightest ones, which that one right there almost seems like it should be like my skin tone, but it looks, to me, it looks so natural and blends in so well. I almost bought a backup today, and I still might, but I've never hit pan on a bronzer or contour shade, so... I don't know if there's even a point of doing it because, I, I don't know, something about like the red made me think it was limited edition, but then when I was at CVS I saw that it just meant that it was new, so I was like, well, I don't really need it. Okay, so the next thing I got was the L'Oreal Paris Product Runway Limited Edition Blush in the Temptress's Blush, and that is what it looks like. It seems huge to me, I mean, right? That's gigantic. Um, it's 0.35 ounces, one of my tart blushes is 0.2 ounces, holy crap, that is pretty big. Um, I've worn it twice since I got it, this is what it looks like right here, Oops. the middle finger, you can't really see it with the glare, um, it's really pretty, it's not very, it looks, it's right there, I seriously don't you can see it. It has a smell to it. It smells like candy. That is so weird. Anyways, it's not as, um, it's kind of like plummy as it looks. It is, there is a sheen to it. It's not really like a glitter. Well, maybe a tiny bit of glitter, which usually I'm not like a huge fan of a lot, a lot of glitter because I have oily skin and I have issues with like scarring and my pores. So sometimes too much shimmer just like, it makes it even worse. But I, I like the color. It's not like, so far, I've only used it twice, so, huh. But it's not like the best thing I've ever tried, but I really do like it. Um, I only have two, two and a half things left. So next up is L'Oreal Infallible, or 24 Hour Infallible Eyeshadow. And it looks just like this. And I have it in something amber, Amber Rush. Um, here we go. I can't remember who, I'm trying to figure out which finger is not turning, I can't remember who talked about it, but I heard, um, I was watching a video and someone was talking about it, and it looked so pretty, there we go, it looks so pretty, and I thought, um, like, I, I wanted to go ahead and try it out, I've tried one of these powders before, there it is, obviously, and, um, it was the purple, and I was so excited, I love, uh, not the color purple on its own, but like purple eyeshadows. I kind of like purple lipsticks too. But I wanted to try the purple and I did and I hated it so much. 
same thing with the color tattoo. I hate their purple. It's awful. Um, but I really do like this Amber Rush. I've used it several times. I went to a wedding on Saturday. I bought it on Friday, and I went to a wedding on Saturday, and I wore this, and lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, and then I'll do my hat. Well, I'll do this. Um, this is the Benefit Boing Concealer. It was $20. I didn't get the prices for the rest of them, um, but I mean, those are all drugstore um, pieces. Now, this one I wanted... My shade shade is medium dark, maybe? It's number four. I think it's like medium dark. Um, medium tan, maybe. I wanted something for my blemishes. I have a lot of scarring. Not my blemishes, my scars. Because um, no matter what I use, it just all seems to fade away. And I have a lot of concealers for my under eye area, but not a lot for um, scarring. So I wanted to find something that would work for that. So far, I like it. It's not as... I thought it would be kind of thicker. It's still creamy. I, you know, I don't know why I thought it would be kind of like tacky-ish. But it's creamy. I like it so far. I'm a little bit worried about the color because it does seem pretty tan slash orangey for my skin. It works now because I still am tan from the summer. Now, I'm naturally tan, but in the winter, I kind of fade away. Um, so I might need to go down the color, but so far, I like it. Um, and then my little half of a thing, or actually, I guess I have more than just that, but it's this little uh, Fresh Sugar Mini Lip Duo from Sephora for my birthday, and I've um, I've had a fresh lip balm before. I like it. I, I don't think it's like the best thing in the world like most, more, most girls do, um, but I do like it. And then the last thing I have to show you, sorry, I had to go over to my little makeup area, is um, the Sephora, it's either Bullseye, yeah, it's Bullseye. Um, it's their new little um, eyelash applicator, and it is awesome, 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 awesome. They're like tweezers, but they're, um, they have a fuller edge. Can you see that? I don't know, like, what I'm doing. Um, so, like, perfectly grabs the lash, and then you're able to set them down. And then you have this little thing on the other side where you can like really get in there and it um, the instructions show you how it can help like remove them also. I've used it one time. I don't wear false lashes every single day, but I really liked it when I used it and it was twelve dollars, I believe. Alright, so that's all of my new stuff. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure in my mess of stuff that that's all I have. Um let me know if you want any more information. Look at my beautiful hand. It's so shimmery. Anyways, um, let me know if you want any more information about um, those products or further reviews once I've had the chance to really try them out and let you know how they are. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.